Right viewers, welcome to video 4 on my van build conversion. Uh, we had a couple of decent days, so I've cracked on and uh, I've made my bed where I'm going to be using. Uh, it's pretty similar to what, uh, what I normally use for my beds. Normally I build two singles with a flap across to make into, uh, into a double. But I've had to do things slightly different because my furniture is going to be running down this side of the van. So uh, it's actually finished apart from colouring. So I've just got to take it out and I'm going to paint it. Uh, I made it in uh, plywood. My original uh, thoughts were to do it in plywood and uh, just uh, put some Danish oil on. But some of leftover wood, I stained it with Danish oil and I weren't happy we had it come out so I'm going to paint it I'm, uh, I'm going to paint it uh, a light grey colour so uh, I'm going to take it out but while it's in place and all set up I'll show you how it's, how it's going to work so this is my usual carry on I always put a door in there and that door I use for storing all my hookup cables in and uh, and things like that. Because it's plywood and it's 18mm, top's pretty heavy, so I've made it in two halves. So it'll flip up that way. And you've got storage in there. That's for my cables, that's for uh, what other stuff needs storing. I've also put a side entry in, so you've got entrance front top and bottom. And let me flip over a bit for the top, what's going to make into a double bed. going to flip over like that. Now this is going to be supported, there's going to be furniture here and I'm going to put another piece of wood like that on the other side so that will rest on there and that that will give me a three quarter bed. It's, uh, it's not going to be massive but it'll, it'll do a job and I've done the other side exactly the same. That's going to flip over like that. And that does, like it says on. Oh, I've got a squeaky hinge on this though. That also flips up. So I've got side access through there. And uh, on end. On end one, porter pot is going to go in there, and I've put uh, a door inside. Got porter potter. Just show you that. It's a bit windy. I'm hoping you're uh, you're making this out all right. So at night, that'll just pop open. And quarter potty will slide out. And that'll just sit there. So if we need to use it at night, there it is. And uh, when we've done with it, it'll pop straight back in there. Storage what I've got 
with porta potty there's enough room for toilet rolls at that side and all chemicals for porta potty will go at that side so that's it for bed apart from I've got to take it out and get a lick of paint so uh, I'll leave it here for now and I'll get back to you when I've got it a lick of paint see you shortly right viewers uh, finished that bed now I weren't too happy we uh, we had it had, uh, had it had finished up in uh, just leaving it in wood so I decided to get a, a lick of paint in grey and uh, I think it looks a lot better because wood had got such mixed grain in it it, uh, it didn't look good at all so uh, I've given that a, a quick lick of grey blends in with, with van better I think because uh, that plywood it would just it was cheap plywood what I bought and it would a bit it weren't right good so uh, yeah so there we are it's had a lick of grey onwards and upwards building unit what fits there now it's uh, it's hard to explain how it works, but uh, once I've cobbled shell together, I'll uh, I'll show you what it's going to be like. But uh, it'll just have a catch on it, not a catch as such, but a piece of wood. Same as that. Same as that. Just to to rest the uh, bed on when it's made into a double. Right, I'll get back to you once I've made a start on to, on wardrobes and whatnot. See you shortly. Right, I've just roughed out carcass for what's going to be a wardrobe type thing, and uh, this is idea I'm I'm looking at. Two big cupboards in top. One big end there, one down there. This is where I've gone with for gas bottle. Now this is a seven kilogram gas bottle. I don't normally put them in as big as this uh, in small vans. Uh, it's not much, uh, not much need for them really. But because four and a half kilogram ones are getting really hard to get hold on, uh, I decided to go for seven kilogram because you can get them from petrol stations or anywhere. But the four and a half, the smaller ones, four and a half kilogram ones, nobody wants to know. So uh, I've opted for that. But this is all going to have uh, a fascia on it with doors into all of them, except for that. There's going to be no door into the gas bottle one. That's going to be sealed. And that's going to be your access. I've chucked a bit of grey paint on that. But that's going to be your access into... Uh, into into gas bottle uh, thing. I've put a drop vent in there. I'm going to seal it all up. So if gas bottle leaks, it'll drop out because uh, gas is heavier than air. It drops down at bottom, and it'll drop out of that uh, that drop vent there. So that's the idea I've been trying to get through to you. This is just going to be back side the cabinet, uh, front side. Uh, this is going to have kitchen units, water storage, cooker, sink, and uh, water storage and pans and pots and utensils and all that polone. So uh, yeah, uh, that's our 
that bike part's going to look. I know it's a bit hard to envisage, but it's going to have a front closing panel on, and these these seat panels will then close down and uh, make up into make up into double bed. So. In night time mode. That's what it'll be like. If you're using it double, if you're not using it double, it'll be just like that. Right now I'm building this in sections because too big and heavy for me to lift on my own so I've made it in two halves. I made one half which is going to be basic storage and then that part's going to be a bit kitchen. Yeah uh, I'll bring you back when uh, when I've finished when this unit's finished. I've not made finish this uh, this filler panel in yet because it's no point making it right down there. Uh, when front panels on, it'll only, it'll only need to go as far as as front to closing panel. So uh, that'll not be necessary. Right, I'll get back to you shortly when I've done a bit more. All right, viewers, I'll bring you up to date on van situation. Uh, a bit bitter this video I've uh, I've had another jaunt in hospital uh, we've had another week's holiday uh, and we've had three days solid of rain so I've been a bit hampered but I'll show you where, we've, where we're at we've got we've got a zuck up in That's the strip box. There's cables for that come up through the floor and cables fed through there to the kitchen. Cable runs through there. That plastic tube is uh, it runs all the way from gas bottle uh, cabinet comes out there I'm going to run O's in there for, to, for gas bottle ideally you should run copper kit, copper pipe you should run copper pipe uh, when it's a long run like this but I ain't got to, I ain't got all tackle for, for copper pipe with olives and one thing and another so I'm just gonna run rubber tube off of that. That's a quick fit connector. Oh pipe will run through uh, through that piece of plastic pipe to the kitchen. So these are my uh, these are my units. Oh. Big cupboard in there, but it don't go all the way back because that's where that's where my gas bottle is. Same with that one. That only runs to there. Because uh, my gas bottle container is in there, but these two top cupboards put light on. I've separated them off. Might put a shelf in them yet. 
verdict's still out but uh, it's working out that there's actually loads and loads of storage in this for a little van for a short wheelbase van it is really really going to provide some uh, some storage So that's what it looks like from this side. I've not started on kitchen yet. So I've got to decide what cooker I'm having and what fridge I can get hold on. And all that depends on what I can pick up off a of, uh, Facebook marketplace because price of fridges for a decent fridge are into like 400 quid for a 12 volt um, compressor fridge. But uh, yeah, this is our, our bed will make up. Now that's finished and I know what size it's going to be. I've just got to sort some sponge out and then get my, uh, my upholsterer what I use to, uh, to throw some uh, upholstery material on. But uh, yeah, really pleased we are, how things are, are progressing. So, next job on the list. So, kitchen bit out for there. This design won't be to everybody's cup of tea, but I can't be doing with rock and roll beds. They, uh, they just waste all this space here, whereas if I'm ever away on my own, uh, I can put a push bike in, or if I have to go to uh, DIY shop, I can get still get 8 before 4 sheets in, and uh, I can still use it as a usable van, whereas if you put a rock and roll in, it just becomes a one trick pony, it's a camper van and that's your lot, but uh, yeah, I'll leave it there for now, uh, be a bit more edge scratching and uh, once I've uh, made my mind up what's going to happen with, with kitchen I'll, I'll bring you back then, so uh, I'm back at hospital next Wednesday so that's another, another day lost, but uh, Right, see you shortly. Right viewers, I'm going to bring this video to an end now. I think this is video 4, if I remember rightly. Um, I've not done a right lot, but uh, I've set it up. My fridge has come, so I've got my fridge in. And uh, I've set my layout out how it's going to work. So. Uh, I'll show you what I've done, it's not fitted properly, it's just mocked up, but uh, I think you'll get a rough idea of how it's going to work. I think I've shown you through, bike. Because the electric's in now. Well, partly in, and there's gas bottle in. I can't remember if I showed uh, short drop out and cable feed. I'm probably uh, doubling up on this in a bit, but uh, that's our outland that lay at land's going to be. Let's get some crap off at camera. That's where my sink's going to be. Cooker. I'm going to put a small overhead compartment up there just for a few tins of beans and coffee and whatnot. Um, that's where water is going to be, fresh water. This is my fridge, it's, uh, it's a Dometic fridge and uh, it's 80 litre. I had one of these in Laston and I was right pleased with it. Had to sell a kidney to buy it like, but 
if you want decent stuff you have to pay for it I tried to get a second hand and offer uh, tried eBay tried all usual suspects Facebook marketplace Gumtree they all failed so uh, yeah this is our uh, how it's gonna be oh I did uh, I'll just show you I said I'm gonna put a shelf in one of these uh, one of these here cabinets and uh, I've put a shelf in there just to divide it up it is removable so if I find out that these two spaces aren't big enough I can some some take it out I've left I've left that one full size and I think uh, we'll be able to squeeze sleeping bags and, uh, and cushions in, in there but that's where I am at the moment things are coming on steadily uh, I bought some cheap uh, seat covers off her uh, I think they come oh no wife got them off Amazon that's right because uh, one at seats, driver's seats if you remember had worn through I've only just put them on so they've got to settle down a bit but uh, at least it makes both seats look same the uh, they're alright actually for uh, the cheapies they come with slots in for armrests which is a bonus because uh, some of them I were looking at you couldn't use armrests but these have got a little zip in them for armrests uh, they'll settle in when they've had some bums in them so that's where we are for end of video 4 made some steady progress and uh, I'm going to call it an end Uh, that's what's gonna uh, gonna cover where water carriers go. I'm gonna stick a couple of ranges on this, and uh, this is gonna be a, a cupboard. That's gonna open like that. So yeah, that's where we're at. So uh, thanks for sticking with me. It might be a while to the next video. I'm back in hospital again on Wednesday. Seem to spend more time here than I do in garage lately. But uh, hopefully we're going to get to the bottom of some at uh, this time. So uh, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for all the support. I've had some great messages from people uh, on YouTube and uh, through Gmail. So uh, thanks for a lot. See you in the next video. It's video 5. See you shortly.